Um, today we're going to do the wet skills, what we consider to be wet. That's partial bed bath, pelvic care, catheter care, foot care. Okay. Um, three of the skills, such as partial bed bath, catheter care, and pelvic care, is done with mannequins. Okay. We do have our mannequins set up in stations. Um, as students know here, when they take the test, they, they go to certain stations where they actually do certain um, wet skills. The wet skills is real simple. It's real simple. It's everything that you learned before put into one. It's actually a full, I mean, full bed bath broken up into four, uh, four skills. Um, it's what we consider to be a stackable skill because all the first 10 steps and all the uh, last 10 steps is pretty much the same. Um, only thing different is, is that the skill you want to actually be doing. So I'm gonna start off with what we consider to be uh, Perry Care. How you doing, Ms. Johnson? My name is Mr. Golf. I'll give you a CNA today. Before I get started on doing the Perry Care, I'm gonna wash my hands, put my gloves on, provide privacy. All right? I'm going to make sure my bed is what? Supine. Supine. Good. I'm going to uh, provide privacy. Gather my supplies. And I'm gonna gather my supplies and show you what, exactly what you need, okay? So when you see in my next video, you'll see why I didn't, see why I did things a little bit different. It's not gonna be uh, so much different. It's just the fact I'm not gonna um, do this part right here. So for perfect kid, you're gonna need uh, wash, rinse, dry. Got it? For catheter care, you're going to need a wash, rinse, dry. For foot care, you're going to need a wash, rinse, dry. For um, partial bed bath or modified bed bath, take away the wash, you're going to need a what? Rinse and dry. But when you do the arm, you're going to put back the wash. Wash, rinse, dry. Got it? So perfect care, we're gonna need two wash, because we gotta wash the front and the back. We're gonna need two rinse, because we're gonna rinse the what? Front and the back. And we need two dries, because we're gonna do what? Dry the front and the back. The extra rag is just in case one rag falls, you're gonna need two towels. You're gonna need your what? Soap and your, um, your water. Whenever you do this, get in the habit of what? Filling it up to three. If you got a basic, get in the habit of filling it up to three, all right? And you'll know in the long run because when you do foot care, foot care, your, your feet has to be submerged, okay? Good. So, I got my supplies. I'm going to come to the kitchen. I'm going to turn on faucet. Check the temperature. Simulate washing my hands. Good. Get my paper towel. Fill that up. Put on my gloves. Good. By the time I put on my gloves, it should be filled up to what? Three. So you want to utilize your time wisely. Paper towel, turn the water off, get this out. Immediately go to your patient and ask them to do what? Test the water. Let them test the water. Stick his hand inside the water. Water is good. Good. Get your table.
So I gotta put up my rails because I'm gonna do a log roll. Yeah, I'm gonna do a log roll, so I gotta put up my rails. Yeah, grab my what? Saw container. Yeah, place this right here if I like. Yeah, I'm gonna do my log roll now. I gotta place my first blanket underneath. Got it. Here. All right, Mr. Johnson, I'm gonna need your help for what? Log rolling over. On the count of one, two, three, log roll over. Good. Got it. This is my first blanket. This is my first blanket underneath. And I want to make sure that his buttocks is covered. You got to cover the whole buttocks area. Got it? Good. Then I log roll him back over. My second towel goes across his body. Good. All right. Two things to make it easy. The first position you could do, the first position, making sure you're not exposing. Good. You could do this one. You could do this one to do the perfect care. Or you could do what we consider to be tenting. Tension is when you had a feet like this, like that, and you pull down. Tension. Got it? Once I have my setup, then I'm ready to go. Okay? So, I get my rag, I put soap on my rag, making sure the rag is what? Soapy. Make sure the rag is what? Soapy. Good. I get my soapy rag. And I go one, flip my rag, two, flip my rag, and three, going down the meatus. I get my wrench rag. And I go what? One, flip my rag, two, and my third flip and change of the rag is gonna be right down to meatus. Then my dry rag, I go one, flip my rag, two, flip my rag, and right down to meatus. Good. Got it? Good. Now, since I want to clean the left, right, and straight down the meatus, and when you're doing this, you go what? Front to back, front to back, front to back. And there's only one white, left, right, meatus. And every time you what? Do left, change the rod, uh, flip your rag. Do right, flip your rag to a new side, and down the meatus to a new side. I cover it back up. Fix the legs. Change my towel position. All right, Mr. Johnson, on the count of one, two, three, I'm going to have you log roll back over. Good. Ready? One, two, three, log roll back over. Good. And I'm going to expose what I need. Got it? Now I'm going to what? These rags right here, I use for the front. I simply put them in my what? Soil container. That's why I brought the basket right in front of me. I'm going to wet my rag again. Soap it up. And remember, the rag got to be what? Soapy. Once you apply soap on your rag, do not dip it back in. 
Got it? Contaminate the water. Good. Got it? So I'm gonna start left, flip my rag, right, flip my rag, and then you wanna find the sphincter, the way the uh, anal hole is, and then you wanna do what? Go up from there. Got it? Good. I'm gonna go to rinse. I'm gonna do the same thing with rinse. Left, right, flip my rag, right through the what? Then I'm gonna do dry. Left, right, anus. Got it? Good. So I take all my what? Rags, place this where? Dirty container, soil container. Right on the table, place that there. Good. Now, what I want to show you is this right here. When you do the uh, the rear, you want to go from what? Back to uh, up. You want to wipe up, wipe up, wipe up. So left, wipe up, right, wipe up, anus, wipe up. You want to make sure you test the what? The sphincter, which is the butthole right here, and then wipe up. Got it? Once you finish, Tuck your towel, log roll them back over, remove your towels, and you want to make sure you what? Remove your towels, place them in a what? Soil container, take your what? Soap, place it in a designated dirty area, place it in a designated dirty area. Take your water, you want to dump. Paper towel, rinse, dump. And you want to dry your basin. You want to dry your basin. Wash it dry, you place it in a designated dirty area. And we're back to our three part step. We're going to be dealing with wet. You want to pinch in the palm of your hand, two fingers goes underneath the what? The other hand, capture in both gloves, dispose of it, simulate that you're washing your hands. Place this in his hand, call belt in hand. Even though it's safe within reach, you want to place it what? In hand. I'm gonna make sure my beard is in its lowest position. Good, I'm gonna release privacy. I'm going to document, task complete.